let's get started. So, what are TCRs? Well, T-cell receptors are the heterodimeric protein complexes that are found over the surface of T-cells. And as we know, their primary role is the recognition of foreign antigen. A typical T-cell may have as many as 20,000 receptor molecules on its membrane surface, all of either the alpha-beta or gamma-delta type. To get a better understanding of TCRs, we will start with its types and then structure. Well, normally we say, TCR is a heterodimeric membrane protein. Now here are two terms, heterodimeric and membrane protein. When we call it membrane protein, it means it's a protein that is found over the cell membrane, or that is present over the surface of T-cells. And heterodimeric means it is not a simple protein, but is a complex of proteins that is made of two different type of peptide chains. And on the basis of these chains, two types of TCRs have been identified, that are alpha-beta TCRs, which are made of alpha and beta chains, and gamma-delta TCRs which are made of gamma and delta chains. The type of TCRs with alpha-beta chains are present on approximately 95% of human T lymphocytes, whereas those with chains are found on approximately 5% of human T lymphocytes. So, this alpha-beta TCR is the predominant human TCR, 95%, found on MHC-restricted T cells. And thus, in general, when we refer to the TCR, we are referring to an TCR. And when we say, they are found on MHC-restricted T-cells, that means they are found on all helper T-cells and cytotoxic T-cells. And as we know, cytotoxic T-cells binds the complex of endogenous antigen with MHC-1 molecules over the target cells, causing the killing of virally infected cells. On the other hand, the helper T cells binds the complex of exogenous antigen with MHC-2 molecules that further help activate B cells and cytotoxic T cells. But in contrast to that, gamma-delta TCRs that are found on a few, that is 5%, human T cells derived in the thymus as a separate cell lineage from those of cells that express alpha-beta TCR molecules. We have discussed it in detail in previous video. These gamma-delta TCRs differ from T cells in two important ways. First, they can recognize lipid molecules as well as large peptides, whereas in case of alpha-beta TCRs we know, these large size molecules are unable to attach at the binding groove. Second, they do not always recognize MHC and are not MHC restricted. Now, what does it mean? Well, it means gamma-delta TCRs can detect antigen directly, and they do not need an MHC antigen complex. But when we talk about TCRs, we generally talk about the majority, that are alpha-beta TCRs, so we say, TCRs are MHC restricted. So, this was all about its types, now let's have a brief look at the structure of TCRs. There are many similarities between the structure of TCRs and that of immunoglobulins. So, let's recall the structure of immunoglobulin from our previous videos first. No matter if it is attached over B cells, thus called BCRs, or is in the free form, thus named antibodies, just recall its structure, and you'll remember that. It is made up of four polypeptide chains, one, two, three, and four. And all these chains are connected by diisulfide bonds. In these polypeptide chains, there are two light chains and two heavy chains, named based on their molecular weight. Both these light and heavy chains have variable domains, and constant domains, where variable domains consists of amino acid sequences that differ from antibody to antibody. And the constant domains are made of similar amino acids within the same class of immunoglobulins. 
Here, at one end of immunoglobulin, the variable domains of both light and heavy chains make a site for the attachment with the foreign invading antigenic peptide. Thus, this variable region is named FAB or fragment antigen binding. On the other side, there is another portion made of constant domains of both heavy chains. And this constant domain is made of similar amino acids within the same class of immunoglobulins. This constant region is named as FC or fragment constant region of the antibody. So, this was the brief revision of antibody or immunoglobulin structure. If you want to learn more, you can visit scadia.com and watch a fantastic video on antibody structure and function. Now, let's compare this structure of BCR or immunoglobulin with that of TCRs so that you can easily learn and memoize it. The overall structure of TCRs resemble the antigen binding fragment or FAB portion of the immunoglobulin. And, before we said, immunoglobulin is made of four polypeptide chains. But here, TCRs are made of two polypeptide chains. One and two. That chain can be either alpha chain and beta chain in alpha-beta TCRs. Or gamma chain and delta chain in gamma-delta TCRs, but only two chains are found at a time in a certain TCR molecule. Just like light chain of immunoglobulin, each chain in TCR has one variable domain with variable amino acid sequences, presenting as V-alpha and V-beta and one constant domain, with similar or constant amino acid sequences, presenting as C-alpha and C-beta. So, we can say, the TCR domains farthest away from the membrane are similar to Ig variable region domains, and the domains closest to the membrane are similar to Ig constant region domains. And thus the antigen binds to a site created by the variable domains of the alpha-beta or gamma-delta chains. But unlike antibody, the variable domains of TCRs form only one antigen binding site. On the other hand, the other side of TCR molecule, with constant domain, is embedded in the membrane of the T-cell. That region is named as transmembrane region of TCRs. Also, just like antibodies, both chains of TCRs are also linked via di sulfide bonds. So, this was all about the structure of TCRs. And if you'll compare it with that of immunoglobulins, you can easily memorize it for long time. Have you ever heard of video books? Scotia.com is delighted to present video books, medical books, that have been tailored into a series of videos. Scotia.com videos are presented in the same order as the book 